Hey everyone, my name is Eric Nowoslowski from Clay.com and today we're going to talk about how you can verify emails in Clay straight inside of your workspace. The first thing that you're going to have to do is you're going to have to have emails. So just make sure that you actually have email addresses to use first and know where they are. We're going to add a integration. There are two in, uh, enrichments that can do this. We have our debounce enrichment and we have our zero bounce enrichment. Both of them can validate and verify your email addresses. And so what we'll do is we'll just add the integration to our table, then we'll click into it. We'll map our emails here, and then we want to exclude free emails. Great, and then we'll hit save changes. Now we're gonna hit run and we're going to validate all of our emails. While that's running, I'll show you the second way that we can validate emails. We can go to zero bounce and we can validate our emails here. Here you would need a zero bounce API key where you would be able to just add in your API key and then this would work much the same way as well to our debounce enrichment. So while the debounce enrichment is running, let's delete this and we can, yes, we have enough to start talking about this. So now when we look at this, we can open up our emails and do we see how, when we open it up, we see deliverable and safe to send. What we can do is we can map this to the table, and now we know that these email addresses are safe to send to. If it's risky, this is what's known as a catch-all email address, and I would not send to those emails, but they're actually up to you. There's no way to validate those emails because they're set up in a way that cannot be validated. But if we come down here, if it says zero valid and one other, that means that the uh, email address is either invalid or unreachable. They have no clue which one it is. I like to map these things into the same column so that I have all of my data in one place so that that way I can just filter and clean up my list. But this is how you would be able to clean your emails inside of Clay. If you have any questions about this or anything else, you can comment under this video or you can join our community at clay.com backslash slack where we'd be able to answer more questions there. Have a great day.